Hello everybody, it's everyone's favourite feisty feline, Zephas Grace Paws here. To celebrate spooky season, there's brand new Zephas merch available on t-shirts, hoodies, stickers and mugs. Link in the description. Now, it is of course spook month, unless you're watching this in like June or something, but the ween of hallow is a pop- <laughs> the ween of hallow. What better to kick us off with the spooktacular top 10, top 10 cryptids. So for those unfamiliar with cryptids, they're pretty popular in the fandom and they're like kind of cool and creepy. Essentially cryptids are creatures that have been spotted in real life, allegedly, but their existence is disputed. So without further ado, let's hop into my list of top 10 cryptids. Okay, at number 10 on the list, we've got the big boy stomping Yellowstone Park like a big playground. It's of course, the man himself, the Sasquatch, also known as Bigfoot, thought to be like a type of yeti or similar. He has been spied all over the forests of North America and there's a bunch of very spurious photos and disputed videos. Love him or hate him, Bigfoot, number 10. Does he exist? I don't know, but he's fluffy and you, you, know, you know he's gonna give a good cuddle. Look, look at him, just look at him. In at number nine, we have the Jersey Devil. That's right, it's a demon from the Tax Haven Channel Island off the coast of England. No, it's, it's not that Jersey. It's, it's New Jersey, not Old Jersey. Though I have to be honest, like, whenever I hear people say Jersey, my mind immediately goes to the Channel Island because it just, yeah. But the Jersey Devil is a creature said to live in the Pine Barrens in South Jersey, i.e. New Jersey, America. It's been described as a flying biped creature with hooves and a horse sort of goat-like head, leathery back wings, and horns. It's also said to emit an extremely high-pitched blood-curdling scream. And yeah, there's some awesome sighting stories from like it being shot with cannibals, which the beast just ignored altogether, livestock killings, and even people offering rewards of up to $10,000 to like capture it. Is this one real? I'm not gonna keep answering that for all of them because who knows? We don't know, we don't know all the answers, but I think the Jersey Devil's pretty cool. In at number eight, we have one you might not have heard of, Black Shook. So for those unaware, I grew up in the east of England, specifically in Norfolk, not the one in Virginia, I think, which is where this cryptid is from, Norfolk, England, not Virginia. So for those unaware, because it's a bit of a local one, and it's one that I don't think many people from the UK would know if they're not from, Norfolk, um, let alone elsewhere, Black Shook is a ghostly black wolf-like creature with red glowing eyes, big teeth and shaggy black fur, and it's known to roam the coastline and countryside of the east of England and is often seen as an omen of death. Now, reports of Black Shook date back as far as 1577, with the most recent sightings being in the 1950s. Is Black Shook out there? I don't really care, I moved away from Norfolk many, many moons ago, so it's not going to get me! Or will it? Because there have been several sightings across the country of a big black dog with glowing eyes, exactly the same as Black Shook, across the ages. So, maybe there's more to the story of Black Shook than just local folklore. <coughs> en el número siete tenemos el chupacabra. This cryptid is a relatively recent creature as its first sighting goes back to 1995, the year I was born no less, in Puerto Rico. The animal's name literally translates to goat sucker, not in that way. Come on, get your mind out of the gutter. I know this is a furry channel, but come on. As the chupacabra was found drinking the blood of various livestock, but it seemed to have a preference for goats. I mean, we've all got our preferences, right? It bears the appearance of a small bear with a row of spines reaching from the base of its neck to the base of its tail. Like I said, first spotted Puerto Rico and it's been spotted as far north as Maine and as far south as Chile, with some spottings in other countries like Russia and the Philippines. Perhaps suggesting this creature is a species as opposed to just a kind of one of a kind creature. The first spotting back in 1995 was when eight sheep were reported dead, each with three puncture wounds in their chest and completely drained of blood. Within a few months, over 150 animals were reportedly found dead in the same way. And if you wanted something even creepier, a video was released of the beast just last year showing it feeding on chickens in Lares, Puerto Rico. Now, I can't speak for the validity of the video, but go and check it out for yourself if you want to uh, want to make your own mind up. Now, number six is a cryptid that is absolutely not real, but it's a fun one. It's the drop bear. 
Now, the drop bear is an Australian creature that looks almost identical to the harmless koala, but is predatory and carnivorous, and is known to attack and kill unsuspecting prey, of course including people, by dropping down from the trees above onto them. Now, these are just like a folklore tale used to scare and prank tourists who are visiting Australia for the most part, but the origin of the drop bear is said to be a long persisting memory of the Thylacolio carnifex. Yeah, I probably said that really badly, <laughs> but it was a marsupial lion that would ambush prey and was capable of climbing trees and is said to be a distant relation of the koala. So if you're planning to go to Australia, watch out for these. And also Rolf Harris. <coughs> now in at number five, we have a cryptid that I genuinely love the design of, the jackalope. Jackalopes are essentially mythical bunnies with big horns from North America. The word itself is a mashup of jackrabbit and antelope, and they're always seen as a very sort of tongue-in-cheek joke because stories of them are never treated seriously because it's it's just seen as a this is something that's genuinely made up. But there's still a lot of stories of people seeing them, despite them not being taken seriously, across all of America, with some claiming that it can even mimic the human voice. Now, it's a really cute design, and let's be honest, who wouldn't want one as a pet? Now you'd probably think this one would be a bit higher, but British big cats are number four. Now I've grouped these all together in their own category because most of the counties in the UK have their own big cat stories. People may or may not know that in the UK here we have wild cats, which are honestly the cutest thing ever. Like I've seen Scottish wild cats in a zoo before and they're super fluffy and cuddly and you just want to cuddle them, but you know they'd rip your face off given half a chance. <laughs> but there have been rumors of cats even bigger than that. There's been big cat sightings all over the UK from the late 1950s onwards, such as the Surrey Puma, the Shooter's Hill Cheetah, the Beast of Exmoor, and the Sheppy Panther, just to name a few. In fact, I've got a real life story about this very thing, so sit comfortably, turn on the creepy lighting, and let's go. One cold winter's morning, a young Zephas got to high school, ready to start her day of learning, when her teacher turned up. The teacher seemed flustered and panicked, as if she'd seen something that shocked her she had. It was then that she told the class about what had happened on her way to school that morning. She set off from home de-icing her car first as was common on cold British mornings in the winter. She set off and along the way saw a shadowy sight in a field. She drove slower, no traffic around at that time in the morning. That's when she saw it. She stopped her car next to a small bridge over a stream, just next to the field with the shadowy creature. She stared at it for a few minutes, seeing it move ever so slowly. That's when she realised what she'd seen. She was watching a big black cat, like a panther, eating a deer. In a panic, she started up the engine and drove as quickly as she could to the school. Ahem, <clears throat> right, lights up. There we go, British big cats, definitely, probably real. Straight in at number three, we have a mythical creature that I'm pretty sure everyone all around the world has heard of, the Loch Ness Monster, or Nessie. So, Nessie is a creature known to inhabit Loch Ness, a huge lake in the Scottish Highlands. It's often described as having a long scaly neck with humps that come out of the water following it, a lot like a sea serpent or similar creature. There have been loads of photos and videos, but none of them have been proven like 100% true, in fact, some of the more popular ones have been proven to be hoaxes. But the earliest recording of Nessie was in the 5th century, with subsequent recorded sightings in the 1800s and as recent as 2015 on Google Street View of all places. There's been a ton of theories as to what Loch Ness Monster could actually be, from somewhat logical suggestions like eels, sturgeons, by which of course I mean the fish and not Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon, and sharks and some ridiculous suggestions like elephants. Now I love the Loch Ness Monster and I think it's really cool. When I went to Scotland I went to an exhibit about it. Unfortunately I didn't get a chance to actually go up to Loch Ness because it was quite a lot further north than I was staying. And I really hope it's real and one day I'd like to go there and, and try and find it, though I, I know I'm probably not likely to. But I don't know for sure, nobody does, but it's probably real, let's be honest. <coughs> So in at number two, the penultimate spot, we have the Kappa, not the twitch emote. 
Now, this is a kind of folklore more than a cryptid, but um, it's too cool not to mention. Plus, they're prevalent in all forms of media, such as my favourite Kappa, Capon from Animal Crossing. They are amphibian beings that are humanoid, and they're about the height and size of a child, with an indent in their heads for storing water. Now, Kappas are known for their devilish ways, such as attempting to lure people into the water uh, where it's going to drown them. But despite their scary, malicious nature, I just think they're so cool. Like, I love their bowl heads, and they can store water, and according to folklore, they love cucumbers and sumo wrestling. So they've got so much character, even though they are inherently kind of evil. Just don't try to befriend one near water, okay? <coughs> and finally, in at number one, my absolute favourite cryptid. It's Point Pleasant, West Virginia's very own Mothman. Now, for those unaware, the Mothman is a tall creature that stands on two legs, just slightly taller than a human, and it has large wings and big, round, red eyes. The Mothman was first spotted in Point Pleasant, West Virginia in 1966 by two young couples. There have been several sightings over the whole of the next year, all over Point Pleasant, which all culminated in the collapse of the Silver Bridge, after which the Mothman was not seen in Point Pleasant again giving rise to the idea that the Mothman is some kind of harbinger character who appears prior to tragic events. Rumours have it that Mothman has been sighted several times since in places like Moscow just before the 1999 Russian apartment bombings, along with numerous other sightings around the world since. So there we go, those are a list of my top 10 cryptids for all of you to enjoy this spooky month. Thank you all for watching, remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.